This video is part of my 1 to 99 skill guide. If you want to learn the best way of achieving max level, click the first link in the description to go to the main guide. Hello everyone, Kels here and welcome to another old school RuneScape video. Today, the Tide Farm. Released alongside the continent of Zaya, the Tide Farm is, to my knowledge, the only way to actively train farming without waiting a long time for the crops and trees to grow. The experience per hour will mainly depend on the seed you use, and you can typically see rates of around 25k, 60k, and 100k at levels 34, 54, and 74 respectively, if you are not fully focused on the game. I will also explain the point system after the main method. As for the profit per hour, the only worthwhile tradable rewards here are the grape seeds and the Bologus blessing, if I'm pronouncing that right, which you can buy with points. At an average of 76 points per hour, you can expect around 80k gold per hour by buying grape seeds, and if you buy the blessings, it will depend on how many you have and how efficient you are at farming Samarica grapes. For the level requirements, you need a minimum of 34 farming. I would also recommend 68 magic to use a humidify spell on the lunar book to do something a bit more efficiently. Also, anything above 50 agility would be very useful. For the quest requirements, you don't really need anything, but a 100% Hosidious favor is mandatory to use a tight farm. I would also recommend Lunar Diplomacy to access the Lunar Spellbook. For the item requirements, we have many things to carry, so here's the list. The mandatory items are just a seed dibber, a spade, and as many full watering cans as you can carry. Other items I would highly recommend but are not mandatory are Full Graceful, a Ring of Endurance, Steam Battle Staff, Astral Runes, and Stamina Potions. And also, leave one inventory space open for your 100 seeds. And this is not an item requirement, but if you are using Runelight, the Tide Farm plugin is super useful, so I'd recommend using it. Here's where things get interesting. I will show you the mechanics of this activity and the way to do it in a fairly relaxing way. However, the faster you do it, the more seeds you will be able to plant. Start by planting a seed and watering it. If using Runelight, you will see how long you have until the seed grows to the next stage. You need to water it again before time runs out, and water it a third and final time for it to fully grow, and harvest it before time runs out. Simple, right? One patch can hold up to 4 seeds, and a typical run will use 5 patches in this formation to have enough time to water and harvest all of your fruits in 5 cycles for 100 seeds. If you become more efficient at doing this, you can have more than 20 seeds planted and do this quicker for more experience per hour. Remember to use a humidify spell when your watering cans become empty, and if you're not using this method, refill them at the nearby barrels, but this can be slightly slower since the humidify spell will refill all of your cans instead of one by one. Once you have collected all of your fruit, deposit them on the sack near the entrance to get your experience. Here's how the point system works. If none of your seeds die and you deposit all 100 fruit, you will get 26 points. For every fruit that you don't gather, you will lose 1 point. With some very quick maths, if the 26 plants die, you will get 0 points, but you will still get your experience. I would personally reset the run if more than 5 plants die, but if you are new to this, just focus on learning the pattern until you are able to collect all 100 fruit. It's super easy and you will pick it up after a few minutes. Remember that the more efficient you become at this, the more patches you will be able to use, so you can adjust the pattern according to your speed. And that's it for the Tide Farm! To my knowledge, the only way to train farming efficiently and actively without waiting for things to grow. But if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. I'll see you in another video if you decide to keep watching. Best of luck and have a great day.